The most noticeable impact of that attack is the heightened security here at Flint's Bishop International Airport, and that will stay in place for the foreseeable future. Now, as we've been reporting, Fatui is accused of attacking Lieutenant Jeff Neville from behind with a 12-inch knife. The FBI has identified the weapon as an Amazon jungle survival knife. We showed you a knife like the one used in the attack during our newscast Wednesday night. His rejected attempt at buying a gun happened right here in Flint. It remains unclear why he chose Bishop as his target, but investigators did say he wanted to attack an international airport. Now, he has no known ties to this area. Fatui has been in Canada for 10 years and is married and has three children and has led an otherwise routine life. He was neither on the radar of uh, Canadian authorities or uh, FBI or United States authorities. Now, we're told Lieutenant Neville is doing well tonight at Hurley Medical Center. His status has been upgraded to stable after he was taken in in critical condition. They've used the word satisfactory. And also tonight in Flint, a group of people from all walks of life came together to pray for Lieutenant Neville. And I'm joined now by TV5's Elena Holland, who has more on that. You know, sometimes, David, they say tragedy brings people together. And that's exactly what happened tonight at this prayer vigil. And no hate and no person that can hijack the name of Islam can divide us. A powerful message to the residents of Flint. Tonight, people from all different faiths gathered to pray for Lieutenant Jeff Neville and his speedy recovery following yesterday's attack at the airport. A mix of people from all different religions and backgrounds coming together for the same purpose. I don't know. This is Flint. I mean, it's, it's not surprising. That's what I would say. Uh, but it's definitely uplifting. This is our city and like to hear about such a heinous act happening um, so close to home, it really shakes you up. It really, uh, you know, brings things into perspective. Sonia Sajid is a U of M Flint student living in the city. She says yesterday's events were terrifying, but a situation like this lets people put down their differences and come together. And we're still a community, like we're still together. We're fighting for peace and, you know, we're fighting for justice all the time. During the attack, the suspect Amor Fatui shouted Allah and other phrases in Arabic, something those in the Islamic community hear say isn't what their religion is all about. It is, you know, politically charged environment, but that we are not going to let somebody come from the outside and divide us here in Flint. I think a lot of people are using the Bible, the Koran, um, in ways that uh, perpetuate hate rather than love. So tonight, Jewish, Christian, Muslim people and more prayed side by side for Lieutenant Neville. Bad things happen. We need to make something good come out of it. And I think this, this that's what this is showing tonight is that we keep talking about how flint strong we are and how we are resilient people and here's another example of that and the flint islamic center is also raising money for neville and his family and so far they've raised over six thousand dollars we've of course posted that link to our hauling section to a website where you can donate if you like uh, but that's well on its way already to really helping out that family david that is great news elena thank you and we just want to reiter reiterate again that lieutenant neville is in stable condition a family member stated that he is expected to make a full recovery now here at flint's bishop international airport a uh, heightened security that that will stay in place for the foreseeable future. For now, reporting live in Flint, David Custer, WNEM-TV5. Colette. Thank you, David. Thank you, Elena.